got some tropical rain coming down in Louisville and uh, right now live on the WHS 1119. We want to take you to 7th Street Road and Barry Boulevard where the heavy rain has caused some uh, flash flooding starting to ease with the rain a little bit. Things are improving. The police have blocked off the area. You can see their flashing lights. This area is well known for flooding and it certainly is proving to be true tonight with the heavy rain coming down. So let's join meteorologist Colleen P uh, Peterson right now here at the moment and uh, Colleen uh, has the rain eased up a little bit. I know it was really drenching the city for a few uh, hours tonight. It's starting to clear out Doug and in fact the tornado threat is over. We're just left over with some of that rain. I mean it was a really active day. We had numerous tornado warnings across town and this is the most that we got out of it. There was no confirmation of a tornado on the ground. There was no damage reports. All we got were funnel reports and this is a classic funnel and some of those thunderstorms where that rotating cloud starts to get a little bit closer to the surface and then that next step would be touching the ground. But this was captured by Michael Montgomery in Mount Washington, Kentucky. What an absolutely cool photo and we can call it cool because it did not produce any damage. In fact, looking at our storm reports, uh, there were two tornado confirmations near the Evansville area in our community. I mean, that could have easily been in our area, but we kind of lucked out with this round and we only got one area that saw thunderstorm wind damage that uprooted a few trees. Uh, that's on a club drive street and a, a light down in the Goshen area. And that's it, which is great because this is a tropical system that typically produces numerous tornadoes in those outer bands, especially a post tropical system. So that tornado watch is no longer in place for our area. The threat of tornadoes is over. It only lingers for Cincinnati until midnight where they are actually dealing with a tornado warning north of Cincinnati. But in our area, this is that radar. That last bit of rain is pushing through. If you live west of Louisville, Seymour down to Litchfield, you are done with that rain. And in Jefferson County downtown, we are done just seeing that light rain in Anchorage. So we're that flooding is reported near the Shively area. Uh, hopefully that they'll start to clear that out pretty quickly because that rain is starting to clear out. Still seeing some heavy downpours over LaGrange with some lightning up to Bedford and Carrollton, but that will slowly move off to the east here as we head over the next 30 minutes. So post tropical barrel that low pressure system will continue to move across the northern state of Indiana, but that's that last band that we were watching that is pushing through that kind of weakened on us. So by mid night. Most of that rain will clear out and then we're, we're going to be left with some clouds. Now, originally we were talking about some rain tomorrow morning, but this model barely shows anything starting out with some clouds. The one thing that you will notice is it's going to be a little breezy and much cooler throughout the day tomorrow. We have a high of 82 degrees and when we get wind gusts potentially up to 25 30 miles per hour, it's going to feel like the 70s. We're going to have some sunshine as we head towards the late afternoon for your uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to have temperatures back in the mid 80s and then slowly climbing back to a potential heat wave settling in. We have mid 90s for a good stretch of days starting this weekend into next week. So I'm glad to report that there was no damage uh, from those numerous tornado warnings that we had throughout the evening and there's no threat overnight. Doug.